Hello students, we are going to start our next chapter, chapter 2, topic, parallels and meridians. You have read that the earth is spherical in shape. To find the location of places of, on the earth, we need certain imaginary lines as reference. These lines are called parallels and meridians. The earth rotates on its axis. It is an imaginary line drawn through the center of the earth. The end points on the axis are called poles. The poles are used as two fixed points. The point on the top is north pole. The one at the bottom in the south pole. Parallels. A set of circles is drawn on the surface of the globe. These circles run from east to west. They are called parallels or line of latitude. The earth is divided into two equal parts by drawing an imaginary line midway between the north pole and the south pole. This line is called this line is called equator. It is longest parallel the part of the earth which lies the north of the equator is called the northern hemisphere. The other half known as the southern hemisphere lies to the south of the equator. Next, important features of parallels. All parallels are complete circles except of the north pole and the south pole. These are points. The length of the parallels decreases as we move away from the equator and towards the poles or all parallels are located at an equal distance from each other. Parallels neither touch nor cross one another. How are parallels numbered? We start from the equator and mark it as zero degree latitude. We mark the other parallels from 0 degree to 90 degree. Apart from their value, the parallels are also marked and north or as south. According to their location, the north pole is written as 90 degree north. The south pole is written as 90 degree south. Parallels are drawn at intervals of 1 degree. There are 90 parallels in the northern hemisphere and 90 parallels in the southern hemisphere. Therefore, therefore, there are 181 parallels in all, including the equator. Important parallels. Other than the equator, 0 degree, the north pole, 90 degree north and the south pole 90 degrees south. There are four other important parallels. These are the Tropic of Cancer, the Tropic of Capricorn, the Arctic Circle, the Antarctic Circle. The Arctic and the Antarctic Circles are also called Poles Circle. Next, Meridians. Imaginary lines Imaginary lines running from north to south are called meridians or lines of longitude. These lines are drawn from pole to pole. Important features of meridians. All meridians are the same length. The maximum distance between any two meridians is at the equator. 
the distance between any two meridians decreases as we move away from the equator towards the poles. Meridians cut the parallels at right angles 90 degrees. Meridians are used to measure distance in the east-west direction. Thank you. How are meridians numbered? You have read that to number the parallels we start from the equator. Similarly, we need a starting point to number the meridians. In 1884, it was decided to fix Greenwich, a place near London, as the starting point for the numbering meridians. The meridians that pass through Greenwich was marked zero degree and named prime meridian. The longitude of a place is measured east or west of the prime meridian. Like parallels, meridians are also drawn at interval of one degree if we move away from the prime meridian towards the east or the west. We reach halfway round the earth at 180 degree. Thus, there are 180 meridians towards the east of the prime meridian and 180 meridian towards, towards the west of the prime meridian. The meridian of 180 degree east and 180 degree west is the same line. So, in total, there are 360 meridians locating places on the globe. The parallels and meridians form a network of lines on the globe. This is called a grid. We use it to locate place on the globe. To locate a place, we must know the values of its parallels or latitude and its meridian or longitude. The point at which the parallel and the meridian cross each other is the location of that place. Thank you.